Hello, 7th grade. This is Mr. K. Welcoming you to another How to Draw lesson. Today we're going to expand upon some lettering that hopefully you attempted yesterday. I had posted 10 slides with two random letters, a W and an H. And I commented on the post that I wasn't sure why those letters were chosen but they were for some reason and the slides were I think very very good at uh, explaining what to do without the benefit of video so I wanted to start the week a little differently and just let you kind of mess around on your own and experiment with some block lettering and hopefully you also tried the 3D shading or shadowing in the background. So I'm going to expand on that 10 slide presentation with you today and hopefully I'm going to teach you a few more techniques, a few more ideas, a few more tools to add to your toolbox because eventually when we do get back to regular school, whether that be this year or in the fall, you're going to have assignments and other classes that are going to require you to letter. For example, in your social studies class, you may do a poster on a uh, foreign country, perhaps. And maybe you have to do a poster presentation about that country. Let's say it's Italy. And so you would lean on some of your artistic excellence and you could draw perhaps the country shape like a boot and at some point you're going to need to title or make a nice eye-catching uh, situation whereas the viewer will know right away that you're talking about Italy not only by your geographic representation but also by your title comprised of the letters I T A L and Y so lettering will serve you very, very well in future school projects. Okay, so today I'm going to go with a basic number two pencil and my large pink eraser. I'm not even going to have a Sharpie today because we'll save uh, some more of that enhancement until tomorrow. And we'll talk about expanding the project some more tomorrow. Today what I wanted to do was just... Uh, remind you of some of the basics perhaps that you picked up from the 10 slides and like I said I also want to take it a step further with possibly some different type different types plural of letter presentations and, and letter drawing techniques okay so here's what I'm going to do it's probably easiest if I just practice with my own name because of the simplicity of it all MRK for Mr. K would be uh, a quick way for me to demonstrate okay so here's what I do and by the way if you're drawing along with me at home you can practice a little bit on my letters and then ultimately what I'm gonna have you people do is demonstrate and develop with your own letters associated with your own names okay but just bear with me for now okay so I'm gonna go very lightly with my M with my R and with my K now if we were in the regular classroom I would refer to this as the skeleton of the whole process and then what I would say to you is this in order to give these letters shape we're going to wrap the skeleton with skin if the inside of the letters are the bones then the outside of the letters must be the skin. 
Okay. So there's the M. I'm going to wrap the small R with some skin. And finally, the K. So this is pretty similar to hopefully what you did yesterday. Beneath it, however, though, I'd like to demonstrate, and I'll come back to that, but beneath it, I'd like to also show you that you could vary or alter the type of letters that you're actually going to use. If you know how to work in cursive or some type of script lettering, it might look something like this. The same concept exists here where I'm going to wrap these script letters with skin. Okay, now I have a decision to make in here. What am I going to do? Am I going to come up the hill here? Or am I going to just wrap the R and make it a part of the whole production? I think I'm going to make it all one little section there. Let me connect that a little better. And then we will wrap some skin around the letter K. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase out the skeleton. And I invite you to do the same. As always, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're getting on to the new system. I am. It's fun to make these videos for you all. I gotta try to keep them limited though in terms of time. Because what I'm noticing is, is the longer the video, the longer the upload. Sometimes these uploads take close to an hour. It's really kind of crazy. Uh, people are really pulling on the internet, though. That's for sure. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back, embolden some of these lines, fix them up a little bit where they're a little broken or light. Make sure they look real nice. Don't be afraid to go back and forth with your pencil. Later on, if and when you decide to add color, those pencil lines will become uniform when you outline them in Sharpie or marker. Go around this script letter M here. like so. I'm going to come down a little bit lower here just to differentiate between the M and the R. Okay. And we'll finish up with the K. hope I'm doing okay on time. I tend to ramble, as you probably figured out by now. 
but it's all good. I'd rather talk throughout the video than just have you sit there and watch me draw. Okay, now, the 3D part, the shading, the shadowing. I want to say that when you worked from the 10 slides yesterday, the shading was to the right. The light source was to the left. I'm going to change it up just a little bit to give you a little variety, and I think I'm going to show you how to create the shadows to the left. Therefore, the light source would be coming from this side of the page. Okay, so if this was some kind of a generic looking light bulb, there's the filament inside. If the light was coming from this side, it would cast your shadow to the left of each letter. So what I do is at the corners of each letter I pull back kind of like a 45 degree angle. And when you pull the angles back you can connect them like so. Now when you get to a uh, curvature like we have with the letter R here, you just kind of go with it. Okay, you just kind of create a parallel line to match that curve, if you will. Okay, so like I said, if you're practicing with me on my name, that's fine. But at some point, what I want you to do is start experimenting with your own. And uh, when we get to tomorrow's video, here's a curvature right here. So I'm just going with the uh, parallel lines here a little bit. Okay. So what was I saying? In uh, tomorrow's video, I'll get a little more into the uh, details of the grade. I had posted, um, I'm going to put a little shadow back here too. I had posted something about a block lettering slash collage project due towards the end of the week. Deadline, Friday, 3 p.m. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow on the video. Okay? Now, lots of times, people will want to shade in the 3D shadow that you put in there. Sometimes people wish to leave it alone and just kind of outline it or block it in with a marker or a color. The choice is totally yours. Okay, so being that I kind of shaded this shadow in, I'm going to leave this one alone down here because we're probably getting a little lengthy on the video here and I don't want the, uh, the upload to take forever. So what I'll do is I'll leave you with this as a stopping point and today what I'd like you to do is, after you fiddle around with my name a little bit as practice, you know, as, as your practice, I want you to start experimenting with your own name, lettering out your own name. And you don't have to, some people asked me yesterday if they had to post their practicing that they're doing. And the answer is no. You don't have to post anything until... Friday, but I certainly hope that you're watching these videos and learning from them because ultimately it'll help you on the grade at the end of the week. So 
one more time, practice with the letters of my name, and then expand to the letters of your name. Okay, and that should keep you busy today in art class. Okay, happy drawing. Thanks for listening, and we will talk soon. Bye now. Have a great day, kiddos.